Now these are flashlights I thought were really cool because not only are they just flashlights, but they're also little mini lanterns. And they are, they got a spot a flood. The high is 50 meters and the side is eight meters on high. Low is only 12 meters with a point. It is one meter waterproof, nine meters shock resistant. And on high, it will run for two hours on AAA batteries. On low, it will run for 10 hours. And on the lantern, which I guess is always on high, it will run for two hours as well. Let's open this thing up and uh, check it out. Well, I'm going to use that knife I got from my other gift package, the flipper. Open it up. Too, too well. Not these. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, these are nice looking. I like these. Ooh. Look at those. Those are nice. Look at that. They're decent size. Batteries out. Yeah, it comes with Energizer batteries, which is actually the good batteries. It's not like super generic. Playing batteries that you know come from like China or something like that. The little picture right here. I don't know if you see that. The little picture of how the batteries are supposed to go in, right on top on the outside. Kind of cool. Okay, so it shows it. That's it. Now this, uh, I see a lot of waterproof. They got like an O-ring right here. So when you thread this down in, that O-ring seals the battery spot. Oh, look, it's already on. Oh, okay, I didn't know it had modes. What modes does it have? Oh, okay. So it's got four modes. It's got high, low, strobe, and the flood-like light. Side only has one mode, which is high, so it's always at high. Fine, I can clearly read stuff. Uh, you can see the 3M on the backpack lighting up. So, now let's uh, see high. Okay, that's definitely bright. I mean, this is that cheap flashlight. Put that on. Yeah, it's definitely way brighter than that. So. Batteries in this one. Make sure that they both work. Well, if you're going to buy something, you want them both to work next to them. The nice thing about Husky is that most of stuff has a lifetime warranty. Side light and high. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So, there we are. Now let's try around the pocket. See how they fit in there, see how they look. I mean, that, that's what the clip is for. So, it's actually not too bad. It sticks out just enough that you can grab it real easy. And the button's actually protected. The button's set in, so it's not sticking out. So you can't accidentally tap it on. You actually have to put your finger in there and click it, which is good. So that means when you're walking, you're bending down, you're doing something, you know, it's very unlikely to start to turn it on in your pocket. Then you're gonna use it and it's dead. You don't have to worry about that. Now it's got a little bit of fun. I'll let's turn it on. Let's drop it. Hey. 
it knows. It still works. Um, what was with the waterproof? Why did I not have a container to do waterproof? Oh, I guess I do. Should have bought one of those with me to see how deep it sits in. But here we go. We'll turn it on. Now in. Yeah, it's fully working. It's, it's fully submerged under water. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's definitely fully submerged in there. Um, you know, bring the camera over to it. It's not my tripod, so a little more difficult. I think it is. If I can get the angle right, so you guys can see that it's all the way under. Because so if you look at it like this, it doesn't look like it is, but it, believe me, it definitely is. Oh, yeah, you want to know what I can do? I can lower this. There you go. Now you can see that it's fully in the water. And so let's change some modes while it's in the water. Alright, there we go, that's low. That's your strobe. There's your side. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Definitely is waterproof. I mean, it's fully working right now. So, definitely satisfied with that. Look at these all my toys. I got my motorcycle, scooter, scooter, the kids' toys. Good little paint up bureau projects. So, let me raise this back up. Let me get you back up there we were before. Well, is that your back up? Oh, we had it before. There we go. Alright, so. Level ball. Now it's wet. It dried off pretty quick. I'm just ripping it. Look at that. My overall thought on these flashlights, I they could be a little bit smaller. They don't weigh anything. These are super light. They're made out of aluminum. So they're really light. But I mean headlights, I have a couple other ones. I feel like they should be slightly thinner than this. But this one's really like a rugged pen light. So and with it having that little side light on it, my, none of my other ones have that. So that's definitely a cool feature. Especially if you're in your tent, you can just flip it on to one of the little hangers, put on your little front side light, you'll be good to go. Grab a weed, do some stuff. And two hours on high, it's actually pretty good. I mean, most of the time, you probably don't even need it on high. Most of the time, because like high is pretty bright, you can probably, oh yeah, you can easily do stuff with it on low, walk around at night. With well, it on low, I mean, 10 hours. 10 hours will get you through the night. Easily. So. But, I mean, hopefully, you know, I'll do a lot of, like, need a flashlight on the whole night when you're out in the woods. But this was, after taxes, was like $10.60. So, I mean, if you really want to get somebody a gift, you don't even have to give them to it in the package. I mean, you could too, but they come with a lifetime warranty. So, if you drop them in the water and they do stop working, you can get another for free. You don't have to have the package to do that either. You just show up at Home Depot or places that sell Husky and say, hey, my flashlight stopped working. They have a lifetime guarantee, and they'll give you another one. So, it's a great. Great gifts. You can even separate it. Give one to dad, give one to grandpa, you know, give one to dad, give one to your brother, give them to your brothers. 
you know, your, your mom, your aunt, your sister, whoever. And these are great to have in the car. Definitely would be great to have in the car. So, yeah. Pick one up. I want you guys think. I'm, uh, going to do my next video, actually. I want to talk to you guys about this. My next video I want to do is on a first aid kit. Like, what's a good homemade first aid kit to have? Like, one that you can make yourself, put things in it, and what is essential to have, and what is, like, not as essential. You can have it, but you don't really need it. So, I'm definitely going to go a little bit that with you guys in the next video. So, please stay tuned, subscribe, and you'll get notified when I post it. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.